Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, glory, as well as worship to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Racha Kudash, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shah being the name of the only begotten Son, the unsaid elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Greetings and salutations to you, Akim. Um, that are pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Akim being the brothers, the brotherhood, all right, the hopeful elect, all right? This is Jaikwab out of Great Millstone, Atlanta Church, um, with a prophecy update. Um, and, you know, it's coming to a point now where it's, it's really undeniable um, these are very serious and sobering times that we are living in as we see uh, the, the prophecies, the dreadful prophecies uh, of the end um, being manifest. Um, but, we, you know, we rejoice in these things because we understand very soon after these things are implemented, Yahweh Shah shall return and establish the kingdom of heaven. So it's all about how you look at it, you know. But either either way it goes, the prophecy still stands. This is a, a article from um, humansarefree.com. It is entitled, House Passes Bill to Voluntarily Begin Placing Human Implantable Microchips into the bodies of all state government employees. Wow, this is June 30th, 2020. It says Michigan State, uh, I believe um, Republican Brona Kali sponsored the successful bill. And while the microchips are not widely used throughout the state, she believes they will become standard in the coming years. You know, so all the individuals who were scoffing and, you know, saying the microchip, that you laughed and you mocked us for saying the microchip is the mark of the beast. Um, we're going to get the scriptures um, behind it. But, you know, you, you, now it's time to come to terms with your pride and arrogance, um, because you really have not that much more time to repent. Um, let's get a little bit more. Where is that? it was a, actually, where is it? It's a specific piece I wanted to read. This is this is wickedness. Um. Here we go. Hold up, no. Where is it? Mm. It says the bill will be introduced to the state senate, where if it passes, Governor Gretchen Whitmer will be able to sign the legislation into Michigan law. Do you hear that? Michigan law, and it's going to happen. These things, these, these things, it's a system. It's an image. All right, and the image is different from the mark, if you have an ear to hear. Yet they are of the same essence, the same beast, the same, you know, the mark is a part of the image, it's a part of the system. This revival of the Roman Empire. Let's get some scriptures. That's enough on the article. I'll put the Lord will not put it in the um, description box, but I really wanted to touch up on the scriptures. This is Joel chapter 2, verse 1. It says, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of Yahweh cometh, for it is nigh at hand. Right. 
So the day of the Lord is very fastly approaching, man. And how do we know that? Through the signs, through the prophecies, how the Lord has written certain things will pan out um, in certain seasons so you understand, you know, what is to come and how, you know, to, and to a certain extent, how far we are. We know we're close because of these prophecies, man, because this is the mark of the beast being implemented as we speak. You know, so um, let's, let's go to uh, Revelations. Let's get the key scripture behind the mark of the beast in Revelation and there's several scriptures concerning it. Revelations, but this is the primary. And this is when it is first mentioned. So this is the book of Revelations, chapter 13, verse 16. It says, and he causeth all, and who is he? He he is the beast. Alright. The system the, the beast is who? Uh the, the revival of the Roman Empire, which is essentially NATO and EU. So the European Union, including America, essentially. And many other nations will be, you know, doing it. But America and the EU, they are the backbone of, of the spirit all right, and the te technological um, ideology of utilizing this microchip into human beings. That came from the the chip was created by Edomites. All right, it was created by Edomites. All right, uh, so it says, um, mm, it says he, this is Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And we just, you know, we, we've seen the articles of Elon Musk speaking so proudly about uh, neural um, um, microchips, neural um, implants in the brain, speaking about downloading m music files into your, into your brain, into your memory. It says, or in their foreheads. You see, he, they're trying to sensationalize this witchcraft to get people to commit this fornication and this iniquity against the Heavenly Father. But you still have Israelite camps still being rebellious against this, the Holy Spirit, still saying the mark of the beast is not the microchip. You know, it's, 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 some, it's sad, you know, but we understand everybody can't be saved. Everybody's not the elect. So we've come to we come to those terms. It says, mm. and let matter of fact, let's touch up on that word mark, which we know we've done this before. That term mark is karagma or charagma, all right. Which when you go to it, it's a stamp, an imprinted mark, all right. Now. It, watch this. Thing carved. When you go down to two, it says thing carved. And what's taking place? You're carving into your flesh with that 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 a um that needle. Uh, you're puncturing the, your flesh and putting a seed. You're putting the seed of Satan, the chip, into your body. All right. And when you go to that root word of charagma, is you get the term charax. Which means a pale, a stake, a palisade, right? And that's what the um, the uh, the tool that's utilized to implement or uh, inject that chip. All right, that's what that's going into. Okay, so uh, verse seventeen it says. And that no man might buy or sell. It says government employees. You're not going to be able to buy or sell. You're not going to be able to work, get paid. 
Because the American dollar is done. The euro is done. The yen is done. When the American dollar is done, the euro and the yen is done. That's why they keep pushing this, we are one crap. But everywhere you turn, is, you see that, that term, we are one. Because they're trying to bring forth this new world order where everybody is going to be base slaves under the elites, all right, that has no control or power over your will, but are a cattle, they have, are, are stamped cattle. That's what these demons want to put, put forth on the earth and just continue to worship Satan, you know. But the Lord has something different in, still, in store, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. If you're serving your Yahabashim Yahusha, don't worry about these demons, man. Hey, we understand that, you know, we might have to lose our life. We're going to suffer for holding fast to the testimony of Yahusha. But the reward that we should receive is far greater than anything that we're going to have to suffer. You know? And what? What are you going to do? Take the chip and die? You know, you know you're going to be destroyed. So there's no point. You just have to hold your integrity. It says, it says, or the, it says, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. All right. Okay. And if I may, let's do this real quick. I don't want to take too long on this. All right. And now. When you go into that term name, all right, because you have to understand, like I said, this is a system, all right? It's the system um, of the uh, Roman Empire. So when you, if you have, like, for instance, if you, if a woman marries a man, what happens? They consummate, of course, you know, through sexual intercourse, and that's that's what you, what you get the piercing from. And when you the man pierces himself inside the woman, all right. But also, what do you have? The woman takes that man's name, all right. And so, when you receive that mark, as of when a woman receives the rod of her man, all right, what? You take the name of the beast. You just says a woman takes the name of her husband. That's why the Lord calls this fornication and idolatry. Because it's taking another God before Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. All right, it says the name of the beast or the number of his name. And that is 603 score and six. Chai Ksai Stigma. All right. You know, and when you go, you know, you might as well go into it. Uh, and we go into that term, chai, I believe is, um, if I'm not mistaken, it's um, cut. Or it's a, uh, uh, chai is, is surgical knife. I mean, and these are the Greek terms. This means surg surgical knife. And stigma means, um, oh, excuse me, I believe chai means foundation. I might have to go back and um go through some notes. I believe chai means foundation, ksai means um surgical knife, and stigma means um cut. You know? And so that's just when you look at the mathematics and you have the wisdom of even the the six hundred three score and six, you would know it is it's clear as day what it's talking about. And it's not talking about an embargo or Christianity, man. You people are, are bugged out of your mind still believing that nonsense, talking about the mark of the beast is Christianity. Come on, man. That's ridiculous. All right? So, um, let's see here. Let's go to Revelations chapter 14. This is Revelations chapter 14, verse 8. It says... And there follow another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. All right. And that, what? That's talking about taking that chip. 
and following those the, the philosophy that's going conforming them, themselves to the image of the beast, which is the system. All right, you know the uh, so-called democracy, homosexuality, bestiality, worshiping Satan, all the different things that America pushes. All right, verse nine it says, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, "If any man worship the beast." In his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. And how is that? through the intercontinental ballistic missiles, all right? The nations are going to go into thermonuclear war. And if you have that mark, you are going to die in the midst of those missiles. That's where the lake of fire speaks about, all right? And America is what the lake of fire will be, all right? So if you take that mark of the beast, if you take the RFID chip, you're going to be destroyed, thus said the Holy Bible. Now, when you go on, all right, so let's see here. What was that? It says, fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels, in the presence of the Lamb. And the holy angels is talking about the celestial angels that's already there, and it's talking about us. And we're going to get that. It's talk, when I say us, I mean the elect, the hopeful elect. Lord willing, I pray that Yahweh Shem Shai, that I am of that number, because nothing else really matters, to be honest. You know, hmm. verse 11, it says, And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Hmm. See, the mark of his name. Shit. It's, it's crazy that, you know, we're actually living in these times. You know, you see everything being manifest. You know, um, let me see. I had another scripture that I wanted to finish it off on. Um, let's go to. This is Revelations, the 15th chapter. So I also wanted to let you know that it's hope for the elect. You know, it's hope for us who have. Um, matter of fact, how did I miss that? Let's go to um, Revelations 3 and 10, firstly. It's Revelations chapter 3, verse 10, and it reads, it says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, which is the testimony of Yahweh Shah, all right, um, you know, the true prophecies and doing his will, the works. It says, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which he's going to refuse. He's not going to allow us to take the, the mark of the beast. That's the ultimate hour of temptation. All right, the microchip. It says, which shall come upon uh, the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. You know? So what, what, what hour of temptation, what unifies all the world with having a coming um, tempt, um, hour of temptation? It's the mark of the beast, the RFID chip, you know? So uh, let's go to Revelations. Shalakia. Revelations chapter 15, um, verse 1. It says, And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of God. And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. Right? And that's um, John looking down um, at the firmament in America and a lot of, well, America being destroyed by nuclear missiles. Right? It says mingled with fire and there, excuse me, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast 
and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name stand on the sea of glass having the harps of God. Mm. Oh my goodness. And that's going to be, we're going to be delivered. Lord, what I'm of that number, you know, that's the elect are going to be delivered from America, not going to be destroyed by the missiles. It says, and over, it says, let me see here. It says, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of God, which is the testimony of Yahweh Shai. All right. Verse three, it says, and they sing the song of Moses, the servant of God, which is the commandments, the, the law. It says, in the song of the Lamb, which is Yahweh Shai, saying, great and marvelous are thy works, um, Lord God Almighty, Yahweh um, Almighty. Uh, just and true are thy ways, the King of saints. All right, so the Lord, it looks like inequity rules the rules the, the planet Earth, which it does now, but the Lord is going to bring forth truth and justice and establish us on top of all nations and reestablish us in Jerusalem to uh, rule the kingdom of heaven. But we have to believe that he's going to do that. We have to believe, and he will. I guarantee it. He's going to do it. You know? So, yeah, Lord willing, this lesson was um, edifying to you, sincere laborers, giving all praise unto you. How about Shimei? Shalom.